We are the Loch Ness Monster. We are the stoners. Mm -hmm. We are the stoners. No time for... (sighs) Why have I been breathing so heavily? Oh, dude, it's Sam. It's Sam. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Hey, girl, you trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. Let's hit it. I feel like I'm riding a horse. Boom. 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 Yeah. Explosion. What's up, guys? It's another week of your filthy fucking stoner sex crazy incredible podcast called Two Girls, One Blunt. (laughs) Oh, I like that name. Yeah, me too. It's a cool name. (laughs) Comment if you like it and you think it's a cool name in the comments as you're listening. We appreciate you guys for listening. Thank you for all the kind reviews on Apple Podcasts. It brings a smile to our face, although sometimes we get the occasional. um, Jamie Lee, you are a loser. Yeah, somebody called us some mean words once, but you know what happens. Yeah. (laughs) It's the price we pay. You know, we asked for it. We were really asking for it dressed up. In this crisscross shirt. You little and, slut. And that uh, that sweater. Yeah. I was asking for it. Like the fucking whore that I am. Yeah. Like the butt slut that I am. <laughs> Speaking of butt sluts, Emily. Are you a butt slut, Jamie? <laughs> I'm a little butt slut. <laughs> butt slut. What, what kind of word is that? Like you... I mean, I'm like, use I, it in the sentence. I know I eat ass, so I'm a butt slut. Oh, I'm a butt slut, but I don't want, oh, you can eat my ass too, but I don't want to like, I don't like anal. I, okay. So some guy messaged me and he was like, do you like anal? And I was like, yeah, I love anal. Like I want to do double penetration and stuff. And he was like, okay, cool. And he was like, can I just shove it in? Like no lube, like just no. with like from your pussy to your ass. And I was like, I'm not interested in anybody who's not going to prepare me. And he blocked me. So he, he only, that's cause he wanted it to hurt. That yeah. was the case. It was less about anal. It was like, I want to hurt her and she doesn't want to be hurt. So <laughs> I don't like, like that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't need an additional butthole. Okay. <laughs> you go in wrong. It's can, something's going to happen down there. That's my fear. I'm going to get a colonoscopy. <laughs> A colonoscopy? I've never gotten one. I feel Every like time I think year old men. I do too, but like <laughs> I always feel, you know, I, we talk about this a lot, <laughs> stigma of like STDs and shit, but anytime I have an ingrown hair, I'm like, oh, herpes, like anything. I'm like, what's wrong with my butt? Oh, and it's like, Jamie, it's just a hemorrhoid. <laughs> I, I was it's Googling just, stuff and I was like, Jamie, I think you have a butthole fistula. And she was like, don't say that. And then you were like Googling pictures I like, of fistula. I, I was like, I think I have a butthole fistula. <laughs> But there's no like a fish that has like an opening and actually comes out the skin. Mine's just like an indent. Honestly, maybe I, it's just like, it, it looks like just my cellulite contri- like went from one ass cheek to the next and it didn't miss. So it didn't skip the crack, but it's only one dot. Like someone, little- maybe, maybe my ex put his thumb there too, too much when he fucking. It's like somebody took like their Coke pinky and pressed it up against your butthole or your butt crack and just like stood there for a while. Yeah. If you got drugged in your sleep, like somebody boofed you. Dude, I literally was like, was I, yeah, was I drugged in my sleep? Emily, are you drugging me? You're the only person who could. Otherwise, it's my brother. <laughs> and that's weird. It's actually both of us. Like, it's a plot. We're plotting to murder you through I've, your butthole. I've seen too many TV shows to underestimate anyone close to me. <laughs> we want to take your cats. That's the whole goal. So of you're going to anally <laughs> fuck me and cause butthole damage. And yeah, you're going to die eventually. <sighs> so then we take the cat. This is a cruel world. This is a long con. This long is term long plan. con. <laughs> she farted on my pillow. That's why I got the sty. And every oh. night she sneaks into my room mm. and she sits over my bed and she farts and she's like, eh, 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 eh. no, and, that's David actually. And then he, he runs comes away. <laughs> yeah, it's a part of, yeah. Emily lets him in while I'm asleep. So I'm like, why is the sty not going away? I don't know. Maybe because. <laughs> shit it on him. She literally <laughs> shit it on him. This is honestly a great plot to a, a film. No, it's not a good plot. Who wants to watch a movie about someone's butthole getting. Never mind. There's people. There's. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I've definitely 
scene like teen gets asshole absolutely demolished by eight men. It's always teen something. That's when is it so going to be creepy. grandma? That's grandma so gets creepy. cream pie. There is grandma porn. I not haven't seen it or anything, but there is. I know what I'm doing later tonight. Me and yeah. Nana, we're going hard. Oh, R.I.P. Nana Peg. R.I.P. Nana Viv. Love you up there. <laughs> Big dog. <laughs> so, but yeah, back to butt slits. Okay. So <laughs> Jamie um, found this feller. Oh, <laughs> a I'll couple in- years ago. <laughs> I guess I'll introduce it. So ever since before I started an OnlyFans, men have always come to me asking for like sexual things or like coming out to me about their kinks because I'd make jokes about eating ass and pegging dudes on my story. And so people were like, oh my God, she understands me, which I do. I do. I genuinely do. I get it. It's a (laughs) non-judgmental zone and guys open up about it. And they're like, I've never told anyone my kinks. We've talked about this before on the podcast. So one of the guys DMs me and he's like talking about like pegging because I made a pegging story. And he's like, I would love for you to peg me. And I was like, oh, slow down, buddy. Buy me a drink first. <laughs> like, Oh, there, partner. Yeah, you know. And he was like, can I actually pay you to FaceTime me? And I was like, doing what? Like jerking <laughs> off? And he was like, something like that. <laughs> and we were on so Snapchat. So he didn't tell you this before? I don't, I don't remember. But I remember being absolutely shocked the first picture he sent me. <laughs> so we were talking on Snapchat and he sends me like a picture of his gaping asshole. Ugh. And to be quite honest, this man looks like a completely like normal dude. He's pretty hot. He is hot. He's hot. He has like a hairless ass and a beautiful butthole and a he big a dick. Nice dick. And a yeah. nice dick. Like he's totally normal, but he the just is package. so horny and like hits us up all, like it used to hit me up like every day to FaceTime him, to watch him fuck his ass with dildos. And his girlfriend knows about it. So he says. Allegedly. Allegedly. I I don't think they were like dating at first. They were on and off. And then like they got back together, but he would still hit me up. And I stopped talking to him because he had a girlfriend. And I don't know if the girlfriend knows. So like, that's not my fucking business. I'm not going to be, you know. So he's all about butthole play. He wants butthole play literally every day. He's always hitting you up. Gaping asshole pictures. I would watch him sit on a dildo, squat like Megan knees, Meg the Stallion knees, and he's squatting over the dildo, riding it while I call him my little like butt slut and like a sissy boy, and how he has to fuck his ass for me, and I like enjoy watching. I would just get drunk and do it. Yeah, we're making jokes, but honestly, it's you know what I respect it. I respect that he's going out and getting his needs met, but why not be with a partner who could meet those needs? I know, right? Why not just be able to enjoy all of life's pleasures? I used to tell him that. I would literally be like, there are women who think this is cool and you you are not like, you're attractive. Like, it's not going to be hard. I know so many hot (sighs) girls who would love to peg a man. Oh, I would do this to him. He's actually hot. Yeah, I just get nervous (laughs) about sex and I like freeze up. And if I don't know you or have an emotional connection, it's really hard for me to do it. Would yeah. I peg a boyfriend? Fuck yeah. Like, yeah. If that was what he was into, I'd be so down. And if he had <laughs> mega knees like this dude does, I'd make him ride my fucking... And I'd be like, yeah. Be on top of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was actually like low-key getting into it. I was like, am I attracted to this? Do I like butt slits? <laughs> I know. Or am I the butt slut? No, so I, I was like, what if we love... were both butt slits <laughs> together? And then... You get fucked by some guy while you're fucking my butt, or like, you yeah, know, I could be, be in the middle. There'd be a lot. I wonder if <sighs> so he's many bisexual, which would be also hot. <laughs> but yeah, he hit me up and he just kept hitting me up to like FaceTime. And when I'm just like depressed or like not sexual, I'm not hooking up with anyone, like my horniness goes down. And I'm like, oh, I don't even have the energy to like think of things to say. And then I get awkward and I start like laughing. Like I can talk about fucking and sucking all day on this podcast. You put me in front of a man. I'm literally like, you, you like that (laughs) big dog? (laughs) Like, I don't know. Like it's awkward. And then I'm laughing and I'm like, stutter and I'm like, fuck. And I didn't mean to say that. I'm like, yeah, it's not smooth. No, I I literally just go, can I pass you off? (laughs) And he was like, what? And I'm like, can I pass you off to a friend? Like, can you not hit me up anymore? And you just 
hit up my friends. It's like in Jeopardy when you want to phone a friend to like answer a question for you. Can I? <laughs> I did. I phoned her and I phoned Patty and I'm like, yo, we're on a triple FaceTime. And I'm like, do any of you want to do like a dude to pay you to watch him fuck his asshole on, on <laughs> fucking FaceTime? I'm like, sign me up. Yeah. They were both like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> And so Emily takes it. And I was like, come in my room immediately when you're done with him. And she was in there for a lot more than the 15 minutes. Yeah. He was like, it'll only take five minutes. And then we ended up going longer. And because he was probably longer. so into it, maybe he was, I guess. So he texted me after I was like, I feel like I got post nut clarity for him. He nutted. And I was like, all right, I got to go. You go clean yourself off. I felt like the dude in the situation. I was like, I'm gone. And I hung up and I was just like, should I like, provide aftercare should it be like you did such a good job you little butt slut like I don't know what to do after that I don't either that I don't know that's why I said no to it because I had to I'd have to figure it out but then we chatted for a little after and I was like good job bucko (laughs) and he was like yeah are you ever gonna be up north and I was like no, not really. It's too cold. And then he was like, do you think you could fit your fist in my asshole? And I was like, there's only one way to find out. He, now he wants to be fisted by you. Yeah. I don't think I could fist somebody. I, I would, I would have, uh, <laughs> intrusive thoughts of fisting somebody and I'd be like, can I open it? I was just thinking that. <laughs> like, I'm like, what if I was like, Grah! and I like, didn't know, I don't know. You know I'd want to like flip you off inside your own rectum. As I you were like, how far you? can your hand go up somebody's asshole? I picture midway to your elbow. Is that, does that, is that your intestines? Like how big is your colon? You might be in there. You might be in there. <laughs> I'm like, can, can you feel, feel your intestines? I can feel the inside. Like I feel like the texture change. Oh no, 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 no. No. At least the prostate's only a couple <laughs> inches like inside. So like that's close to the entrance. Yeah. But if I got to fist you, that's the further you go up, the dirtier it's going to get. Yeah. But <laughs> although this guy shaves his asshole. So you'd assume oh, he like definitely care does enemas or like something. takes care of his ass. You do not fuck your ass like that every day, every day without. How do you take the, he must eat a lot of fiber. He must be, you he know, has to be healthy. He has to be have a clean diet. He reminds me of the ex that I did peg with how like clean looking he is like hairless, same butthole, like the way that he took care of himself. So I do have to say none of my exes I would peg. I don't trust what comes out of their buttholes because you wouldn't I've eat their heard ass. what comes out of their, but I have eaten their asses. Fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're horny, like, do you know when the nasty, I'm just going to go for it. You know, when you're so <laughs> horny, like this is what my post nut clarity must be, but you're just so Nothing else matters. No. You're literally like, I will do whatever. Like they could be like, I'm going <laughs> to take out a can, like a thing of mayo and rub it on you. And you'd be like, oh, you're so fucking dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Look no. it up, you little butt slut. I don't know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the butt slut got me. I, cause I asked him like, what should I call you? Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> cause some guys like like being feminized yeah. where like you call like their cock, like a, well, you know how like you like being degraded. Like I love people being like, listen, you stupid little slut, like yeah. whatever, like you're a whore for me. Okay. So what if like how they want to be degraded is like a slur. So like, uh, you know, there, like there are some men who want to be called the F slur. Yeah. And there's some men who want to be called the Ensler. Yes. And, and I would never like, I just, I'm good on that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, good. I'm like, but somebody like, imagine having that as your kink and like, you need it. Like, what if you need <laughs> it? That somebody has to do it for you. And then it's like, well, what type of people? Well, for the end one, just date, date somebody of your own race. You know, I did see some, but that would suck if you liked white girls. And that was also your kink. (laughs) I saw a black woman on FetLife and she was like, I want to be called the N word by a white male. And I want him to whip me and what call me the C word. And she was like, I really want this. Like, this is the only type of sex I have. And people were responding to her listing and 
I just, a jail for all of the men responding to her list. I know, like jail, jail. jail. Not for her, like you, you go, ma'am. Whatever gets you off, I guess. But those white men. But what if she actually needs that? When, when is it wrong? Like, it's, this is a real conversation. Like, I, like I, personally, not for me. No. Won't, you know? But No. But, uh, yeah. I really don't know. I, sh- there's people who would do it. We're just not one of them. Yeah, butt slut asked me to call him the F word. And I just, like, said other phrases that would give him the same energy yeah you know? I think there's ways to say it without I was saying like, you're it. a little anal whore I bet you take cock up your fucking tight little hole there's ways you came to, into you know? my room laughing so <laughs> hard she was like a, had a menacing evil grin on like she just won the lottery like by scheming and she was like <laughs> and, I, and, I, and she I was like what'd you say to him and then she just went in like on a full-blown like paragraph of what she said now and she was like I loved it <laughs> it was I had fun I was like you you loved every second of that. I did. See, and I don't like, yeah. I don't like, I don't want to degrade people. I literally like, don't, I can't be mean. Even if it's their kink, like I'll try if I really, really love them, then I can probably get comfortable. Mm-hmm. But if I don't like you, it's so hard for me to be mean. That's why I'm a terrible roast comedian. Like roasting requires you to like say, pick on some insecurities or things that you notice about them. I mean, great roasters can kind of just roast without doing that, you know, Yeah. but I, I'm a newer comedian. So like, I can't do that. And I don't like being mean to people. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm it's like, not good I, at roasting. yeah, I think the only person like we talked about is roasting is each other. So I go, that turns into the bedroom too. I yeah. could be like, Oh, you like that? Like you're going to be like a little bitch, right? Like I can say shit like that, but I couldn't like, if it was every time I fuck somebody, they needed no. that in the way that I need that every time I'm fucked. See, <laughs> for I the majority. Know. I don't know if I just like it because it's, well, sex, like people say sex work is like, what's the word? um, It's healing. Empowering, empowering. (laughs) They say it's empowering, but also it can be dehumanizing and objectifying. So like it is hard. So maybe I'm feeling like I get more of my power back because they're like, they want this. They're paying for this on my OnlyFans. And I don't have to show myself like I can just yell at them. (laughs) <laughs> that's that was my favorite part of doing those types of things because I didn't have to get naked either whip that little pecker out for me <laughs> did your family say pecker like do they refer to dicks as peckers my stepmom did and it was so it, uncomfortable ingrained in me I hate that word me too. like he had a little oh. fucking pecker but I'd I'd say like, pecker. Oh. we're and from it, Boston they the were Boston like, accent yeah, the, the, the Boston kids are running accent. around the peckers are out everywhere oh uh, don't look over this, there he has a, his pecker out I don't stop touching your Pekka. Like they're just weird shit. And then my mom called the vagina, the cookie. I think that's what my stepmom called it too. It must've been like a generational thing. I think it was a generational thing, but I'm going to teach my kids. Hey, that there is a penis. (laughs) That's a vagina. It's a vagina. (laughs) And, um, there's a lot of parts of the vagina. I'll teach you when you're of age. Do you think I can teach my kids to have an accent? What if I just like gaslit my kids, but not in like an abusive way. I was just like, (gasps) we're British. And I speak to them for the first 10 years of their life in a British accent, but we live in America. I convinced them that we moved from Britain (laughs) and then I just switch accents for the next 10 years of their life. I'm from Tennessee. I'm a Southern belle. What are you talking about? I've never been in London. They'd be like, mom, we have home videos of you talking to us in accents. Like that is the ultimate form of gaslighting and dramatizing your children. But they would have sexy accents. They would. A mixture of Southern and British. Uh, If my mom did that to me and I grew up with a British, a British accent, a British accent, a little British 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 baby. Oh, bloody hell. (laughs) Something like that. I don't even know accents. Bloody hell. Oh my God. I matched with this dude on hinge and he's French. And I was like, teach me French. And he's like, well, it's hard. And then he (laughs) said, he wrote something and I'm like, trying to say it out loud and Emily's laughing at me and I was like can you send me how to say it and I could not wait pas des pas, pas des soucis I think you ended up getting it in the end pas des, pas des soucis pas des soucis pas des soucis which means no problem no no problem pas des soucis no but worries but he said so fast he's like pas des soucis but I'm like pas what the soucis. fuck was that how am I supposed to understand people talking <sighs> I would literally need French people to be like pas de soucis 
yeah. <laughs> something like that. Like slow. So I'm like, okay, that's one word and that's a different word. And these aren't words together. I want to go to France. I just want to go to Europe again yeah. because the men there just love American women. And I honestly need that kind of attention in my life right now. I, <laughs> If I'm being uh, honest, I feel like European men are just ready and rare and they're horny. They're fuck boys. And I'm, I'm about to jump in. How many points do you think having an accent adds to a dude? <sighs> At least 20. 20 points. So there could yeah. be a two, but they have a, a British accent. Come on. No, Ugh. that's not always okay, true. But we did talk to some guy. Remember that business conversation and he wasn't very cute, but then he spoke in his British accent and we were both like, <laughs> so yeah, it's possible. Yeah. The, if you true. have a personality and accent, Oh, and you're, you're making good. me laugh game over. Yeah. I literally, when someone was texting, he was texting me in like broken English. And I literally looked up down and I was like, this is so hot. <laughs> I love that he doesn't know how to speak English well. He's like I getting, can teach him. He's like getting words mixed up. And I'm like, oh, mommy's here. <laughs> Ugh, all of the maintenance workers in our building have like taken it upon themselves to teach me Spanish. So I'll really? be in the elevator with them, like having conversations in broken Spanish. And they'll be like, no, no, it's OK. Like, here's how you say it. Oh, I love that. It's really cute. And so one of them walked up to me today when I was getting her breakfast sandwiches and he was like, I haven't seen you. How's Spanish class going? And I was like, I've been very, como se dice, busy. And I had to like Google translate it. And then he was like, oh, ocupada. So mm. I'm learning Soy Spanish. Ocupado. Ocupado. Or ocupada. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I better get back in the elevator and find I out. <laughs> I started posting on TikTok. I'm trying to post more because my OnlyFans income is down significantly. Subscribe to our OnlyFans. Yeah. I, people don't understand how hard it is to do social media when your income requires you to be on, like mentally on. And if you're a comedian, that means funny. And how do you do that when your like brain isn't functioning? You don't. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's been, it's been rough. So, and I hate just like putting out fucking thirst trap content. Like at makes me, uh, I don't even it's want not to a post good because it's not just me. Like, that's not how I want to be seen. And then a month will go by and it's only thirst traps and I'm yeah. not really producing real content. And then I feel guilty. Yep. So either way, I made a joke to, and about my, uh, it was like a, tr like a TikTok trend. And it was like, where's your ex right now with one of those things. And that stops and it will tell you <laughs> where's my ex. He's probably with some feral kitty catching chlamydia, but let's see. <laughs> it says, Catching chlamydia. It says hanging out act? with the person that you he told you not to worry about. Being a little slut. Yeah. And so it's literally just like shaming my exes for being stupid and going out and just fucking raw. Yeah. You know, because they all do that. So uh, it now it's at 180K. And the first comment was by a verified person. And they were like, let's not shame people with STIs, please. I don't think anybody was <laughs> shaming anyone. Where was the shaming? I'm like, I, maybe because I called them a feral kitty cat, but I call myself a feral kitty cat all the time. Like that's literally in a video before. People are just dramatic. Yeah. And then some other girl commented, did she delete her original comment? It says, can't wait till you get chlamydia and you have no idea because it has no symptoms like 90% of the time. LOL, being judgmental is ugly. Why would you wish that on someone? Right? I was like, first of all, I mean, yeah. And I didn't even say, I was going to, I wish my ex- Got it. But I didn't wish it. I just said he's probably out catching it. And chlamydia is not bad. Like there's no stigma. I feel like anymore about chlamydia besides the people who haven't got it. But if you're fucking, you know, and you probably have got chlamydia. There ain't no shame Wear in fucking it. fucking condoms. Yeah. But like also I, people also get it. That's where the shame comes from. That's where they're saying is like, oh, victim blaming that they got chlamydia where I got it from a cheating ex and I got it also from somebody who lied to me and said they were clean. I'm talking about those people, the ones who are giving it. So That's wear what I'm fucking saying. condoms. Those are the ones who should shame. But sometimes you give it to people and you don't know. I've, yeah. had, I've had to make a phone call and they got tested and they had chlamydia. And I was like, I'm sorry, because someone lied to me and I got tested, but not, and then we fucked one more time. Mm -hmm. And that one time in between of me getting tested and I fucked like fucking somebody else who was my new person. And then I got tested before the new person because I wanted to make sure I didn't have anything and I had it. So uh, there's no shame. 
Not at all. But yo, my TikTok's blowing up. People are going crazy, being super mean. They're calling, they're telling this girl she has no lips. They're like, you're shaming her, so fuck her. And all I have to say is, uh, and I like responded to this, was just if we're responding to her with like hate because she said something hateful towards me, we don't win. Yeah, the internet is so hateful. You get mad that somebody's angry, so you get angry. Yeah. That I, doesn't make sense. I heard, it doesn't. I heard a, a quote or like I saw a quote the other day and I don't remember where I saw it, but it was saying that, remember, like control your anger because if you get angry, like somebody else made you angry. And if like, if they can control your emotions, then you can be easily manipulated. Yes. And so for me, that too, I recognized her saying that was cause she felt hurt and she felt like maybe she had chlamydia. Once. Maybe she had chlamydia once and someone judged her for it and she's standing up for the underdog. But the way she went about it was trash. But as a, like a grown woman, now I know I'm like, I'm not even going to take offense to it or get angry, you know? So like, let's respond nice to her. And not, we don't have, I don't have to do, give that same energy back anymore. That's like no. a crazy form of growth. No, I used to, my dad used to always tell me when I was younger, he'd say, you don't have to go to every fight that you're invited to. And that always seemed very big to me. And I was like, whoa, just because I feel upset because they're saying something doesn't mean I have to give it back. Doesn't mean I have to allow them to have that power over me. They can wail and scream all the fuck they want. I'm just going to remove myself and feel better about myself. Yeah. I mean, I totally trolled her a little bit for like the jokes and the views, but I didn't say anything mean to her. And then I saw everyone going crazy on her and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's all fun and games until it's not. Yeah. (laughs) Let me respond. Let me fight my own battles. Yeah. And I appreciated everyone sticking up for me, but I also don't want this girl to go home when she feels in her heart, she was doing the right thing. And now everyone's attacking her. Like I've been there and it doesn't feel good. She's like, damn it. I just took day two of my chlamydia pills and now everybody on the internet's fucking rational on me. I know. I know. Poor girl. Stop being a bitch. But the only people you can shame are sh- people who are shitty. Yeah. So I guess you can, sh- I guess she's shaming me because she thinks I'm shitty. So all the power to her. <laughs> shame. We're always going to be the villain in someone's story. I know. <laughs> Speaking of villains and everybody's story. The Queen of England died. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Um, wait, hold on. Did I set a timer? Ah. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> They're cheering. They're happy. Fuck yeah, the Queen is dead. Me too. Did you see that Meghan Markle wore the same yes. outfit that... Uh, Diana mm-hmm. wore, was it the Princess Diana? Princess, Princess Diana. Princess, Princess Diana wore like one of the funerals or something. Fuck yeah. What? Oh, that felt, that looked so good. Like it felt really good for her. That's beautiful. The queen is like, I don't even know how she made it this long. Pure spite. Pure spite. <laughs> she, she's Pure like. Pure spite. <laughs> and she just wanted to outlive her corgis. Yeah. I heard she burned him alive with her. (laughs) Fucking, I I loved all the jokes that people were like, the queen of England died and popped into Trisha Paytas' baby because she named her Elizabeth, which was like a total troll. Like she's still pregnant. Someone just started this rumor and it took the internet over. And Trisha was like, why is everyone associating my baby with the queen of England? Like, this isn't okay. She just went with it though. Sometimes you just got to feed into it. Go with it. Yeah. She's the queen of feeding into it. Yeah, she handled it pretty like smoothly and everything. But I just think, you know, a reincarnation is real. And if somebody were to have the Antichrist, it would be Trisha Paytas. It would be. She's an interesting fella. Oh, my God. Did you hear about the 15 year old boy who got mad at his mom and destroyed her entire house. I did. Ripped walls, did. broke like the granite, like the countertops, windows, everything. Like it was destroyed. That's going to cost her. Oh, I'd arrest him. Right? I'd arrest him. Yeah. At no, 15? he'd be going to jail. Yeah. A hundred percent. He would be facing criminal charges. <sighs> I'm so hard. I'm Fuck like, you. I feel going like to jail. My mom always like just went like to it's the kid. And I'm like, something must have happened where like kids end up fucked up because of their parents. So what happened that made him that angry, that fucked up, that that's the only way he could feel hurt or seen. I've also seen kids that are just crazy. They literally just pop out the womb and are evil. 
That's true. That is true. And especially boys, they can be so destructive and violent towards their parents and their parents. That's their kid. Like they're going to do everything they can. And then you end up fucking destroying thousands of dollars of shit in your home. Yeah. I don't know. That's so hard. I'd commit that child so fast. I know, but then I'm like, do I always want to be like the family that's like, we're family and we are tight knit? I don't know. And like go, but also people can't afford like the therapy and yes. the help that it would take to help heal that kid. Yeah. It's fucked. I feel so bad for that woman. You know, those like hospital like, drop off signs for if, babies. <laughs> yeah. Just drop your teenager off there. I don't want them anymore. Take them. I would just drop my teenager off at like a military like sign up spot. That's how you create sociopaths. That's true. <laughs> There's no winning. I know. Okay, so the queen is dead. Long live the king. Even though he's probably the a horrible. queen is dead. The queen's dead. The queen's dead. 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 And we're all really happy because they were racists. Yeah. So, what do we like? What's the point of the queen? Is she's just a figurehead? Literally to Why keep they white still supremacy have the alive. Let's get rid of it. Let's they want, dismantle they it. They want those bloodlines. <laughs> that was definitely the queen's king. You can't convince me otherwise she put peanut butter on her pussy. So the corgis would eat the peanut butter off her pussy. She was one of those. A moment like, of silence like for her. I don't like it here. A moment of silence for who? The queen. That's when I start like doing like ambulance noises. We go in wee with with, wee with um, tambourines, right? Is that what they are? Shh, What's shh. a tambourine? The shh, shh. yeah, right? Yeah, tambourines. Shh, shh, shh. And we're the queen is dead. The queen is dead. All right. <laughs> we talked about chlamydia. We talked about the queen. Okay, we talked about your need for a, a colonoscopy. Ryan Reynolds just recorded himself having a colonoscopy. Oh, I saw that he lost a bet. He lost a bet. He was, had to do that. Yeah, it was basically like something happened, and if he didn't, he would get a live colonoscopy and like record it. And then basically, they found polyps in him, and it was like precancerous or something. And the doctor said it could have saved his life. And then, so as a result, his friend was like, "You know what? I'll get a colonoscopy just because they found polyps in his ass too." So by them making this bet, they essentially saved themselves from having colon cancer. So we should just bet each other to and go then, to the gynecologist. Yeah. And then I literally went on a tailspin uh, last night and I was like, do I need a colonoscopy? What if I have these polyps? If you get one, I'll get one. Well, I actually, think we should get them together. I don't think my insurance would cover it if it's not <laughs> medically necessary. <laughs> okay. I'll stab your butthole. Oh, I'll get a butt plug stuck in it. In my, no, no, no. That's where I draw the line. Oh my God, wait, I saw a TikTok yesterday and this girl was telling the story and she was like, so I got a, I'm at the hospital. I got a butt plug stuck in my ass, right? She was like, all's good, whatever. They can remove it. But I just found out while I'm here, all the nurses are talking about tomorrow. They're all going on strike and not showing up. She goes, imagine I got this butt plug in my ass tomorrow and there were no nurses to take it out. That would really suck. I was like, she was good though. She was covered. Every day I'm fearful that something is going to get stuck inside of me. Dude, and then my muscles are moving and I'm like, am I inching it up towards my intestines? And what if you have to get surgically removed? Yeah. A a butt plug. That's my worst nightmare. I don't want butthole surgery. We're not manifesting it. (laughs) I don't want any surgery ever. Yeah. No, I'm not. I don't. I'm not good with it. (laughs) Needles in my face and that's about it. Okay. Even my eye surgery. That was, I was like, never again. I don't want surgery. No, no. If I get a sty, I'm just cutting the eye out. If I have to be awake for a surgery, I'm not getting it. Kill me. I'm dead. Yeah. If I die, I die. (laughs) This is why we would not live through the apocalypse because we would, no, no. Without anesthesia, I'm so good. (laughs) <laughs> what would be the most terrifying animal if one day it could just up and take flight oh, <laughs> somebody asked me that because of the question we asked on the you. podcast if you if i could see you flying over things you'd be flying and dissociating and you'd be staring at people and they'd be like why is it staring at you and be like sorry <laughs> you know how when i try to find you in grocery stores i just go caca yeah i would do that but like as a a bird human and just get on like dive down towards people yeah you could be a really good pickpocketer oh 
I was just thinking I would rob people. <laughs> so clearly nobody give me wings. I will go to the dark side. Red Bull makes you steal. <laughs> it does. Should we? I think we should do a Red Bull stunt and like jump off on a, like the tall like divey board thingies. <laughs> just go for it. Emily, jumping off a second story yacht or whatever was scary enough. Oh, terrifying. But I would do it again. But I got a rush. It's like, I'm alive. I know. Next is skydiving. <laughs> I'm Next, so scared. we're climbing Mount Everest. I you're got really into Mount Everest. Your ones. pupils, when you said I, like dilated and like, you know how they like get yeah. bigger or whatever when you like something? You I just, like Mount Everest. I just watched it and you're like, Mount Everest. And I was like, whoa, she's really into Mount Everest. <laughs> I hyper focused. And apparently the dead bodies on Mount Everest are like landmarks. And I told you that and you were like, yeah, green boots. And that's one of the guys. I said that? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you think I'd be the most terrifying animal? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. If I had to think of an, do you have an animal in mind? Well, I think I, of mine. I definitely think an alligator would not be fun. They're so big though and slow. No, they're fast. Really? They go, <laughs> bro, snakes. Oh, so dragons. An anaconda. An anaconda with wings. Oh, man. Dragons. Yeah. Dragons would be the scariest. And then Elon Musk just equips them with like the flamethrowers that he invented. So we have dragons. We do have dragons. What if dragons are real? Dragons are real. I think they are. I think so. People spot dragons. I do. Just like they spot UFOs. And now UFOs are real, apparently. So why couldn't dragons be? I can't wait to find out the Loch Ness monster is real. Dude, it has to be. She's there. Nessie. Isn't that in Lake Champlain? I think it's in Scotland. There's a there's a monster in Lake Champlain, Vermont. It is Scotland. He's a prehistoric serpent monster in the depths of Lake Champlain, Vermont. Holy shit. Of course we get a fucking ad. I used to look out there and I'll be like, I'm gonna find it. Wait, you <laughs> know? Just kind of like, you know, when no one is paying attention, kind of like when I think I have superpowers and I just go like this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, and Emily walks in on me and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm practicing to get superpowers. <laughs> that was me. I'm like, I can't get it if I don't try. I'm yeah, too, I'm to too zen now. I don't have enough anger to like chant, like automatically like switch, you know? I always wished I was Matilda. That was, yeah. I loved Matilda. That was my movie as a kid. And then Jamie told me I looked like Miss Trunchbull once and I've never forgiven her. <laughs> I, I did. I, I was like, Emily, that outfit kind of looks like Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> I've lived. Okay. At least I said you didn't look like the kid eating the cake. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. We're going to find a, a long lost monster creature. Do we want to do that though? We just watched... Uh, we were watching, no, not House of Dragons. We were watching the new Lord of the Rings show on Amazon. So good. Yes. And there's a scene where they're in the ocean and there's like a sea monster. And that looked scary as fuck. That was very scary. Oh no. She's like, I'm going to jump in the water while it goes and gets the boat. And I'm like, it's just going to see you swimming in the water. No, don't get in the water. Stay Mm -hmm. out of the water. No, but then he eats the boat. So it saved her. Oh, you watched this with me. I did. (laughs) Sometimes I'm like, Emily, let's watch a movie. And she's like, okay. Couldn't tell you what the movie was about. Sometimes I watch through my hands. So I still can't tell you what the movie's about. Cause it's so scary. <laughs> I'm just a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So final answer. Dragons. Dragons are the scariest snakes. shit. Yeah. If snakes could fly, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> we're going to take a brief we're intermission. Take a brief intermission. And we'll, we'll be, be right back. back after this brief commercial. Boom, boom, boom. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Lucy. I'm not used to wearing glasses. Guys, I got so high. I got so high, but I'm still like Adderalled out right now. And it's not okay. Emily, take it. Well, I got the, I got the questions for us. We're going to go back and forth. Hey, Stoney. Yeah. We're going to do Stoney Baloney because <laughs> Jamie is stony, Stonied. Stop. Stoned. I'm, I've been a filthy fucking stoner. She's zooted. <laughs> I'm, I'm zooted. I'm we never have the same than tolerance. The, um, the Empire State Building. I'm more stoned than Stonehenge. Why do I never get high? 
I'm higher than the sky. <laughs> I need someone to fly me out to Cali so I can bring home weed. I'm sick of Miami weed. I know. California weed is so good. Why can't I stop you on it? <laughs> so look at the hiccups. Are you going to scare it out of you? Okay. Yeah. Wake up. Bah, 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 bah. Hit me. <sighs> oh, I was, I was like, I wasn't actually going to hit you. My mom hit me with glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt that I froze. Oh, I was like, "Mommy, no, mom, no, stop!" Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, would you rather? Questions. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be the only person who speaks out of their butt, or be the only person who doesn't speak out of their butt? Either way, you're alone. <laughs> Honestly, probably the only person who speaks out of their butt because I'd be like a circus girl. And then I would go on stage and they'd be like, $500 to see the woman who speaks out of her butt. <laughs> only $500? Or I do, it, I do it on OnlyFans. And I like talk dirty out of my butthole. And Ooh, it's like, oh, it like baby. whispers to you. Yeah, the whispering eye. Yeah, that's, the, that, that's the real thing. The real deal. The guy who, uh, who butt fucked for me on camera, <laughs> he... Uh, his butthole winked at me. I swear to I God, did, it winked at me. Did he <laughs> ask if he could wink it at you? He didn't ask. He, he, he didn't did ask it well. non-consensually. <laughs> well, um, I've had a man ask me to wink my butthole before a few times. I feel like that's a common request. I, you know, I've never gotten know. that one. Never gotten you've that never, one. Really? I can't wait. You've never had anyone say wink your butt? Oh, no. Maybe, have you been with like guys that are like super into ass play no <laughs> no just like the garden variety ass eaters nothing special thumb in there occasionally oh okay i know boring i know i think i would go with the i'd i'd <laughs> speak out of my ass because you would still have a mouth you just wouldn't speak out of it no no what if you well i i thought this was additionally <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was like you speak out of your mouth and your butt like it's a special talent oh no i think this is like only out of your ass well, that would suck because how you would have to have like special pants that kept it open. I mean, at least maybe you wouldn't get a yeast infection because there'd be a breeze down there. Very true. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the one person who doesn't speak out of my butt because then everyone would be speaking out of their ass and your ears are up here. And I feel like their ears would have evolved to be near their butts so they could hear people and you just be bending <laughs> over next to each other's asses like and you'd be the only one. Well, if you talk out of your butt, do you think like the ears are on the side of your hips? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they're one on each butt cheek. And then your lips are? The lips are. Yeah. They're the lips. <laughs> the lips are there. <laughs> the lips, the teeth, the tip, the tip of, of the, the tongue. tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Okay. Butthole jokes, guys. <laughs> we love butthole jokes. Okay. I feel like I'm being awkward. No, you're good. You're good. We got um, one of our friends high this weekend, Mac, and she kept looking at me and going, I don't, I don't, I feel like I'm being so weird. And I was like, no, you're just high. Like, you're good. I'm like, just take a deep breath. Well, yeah, you got her high and then I <laughs> got her mushrooms. <laughs> we just corrupt people left and right. Honestly, we're helping them find God. Yeah. We we're, are God. We're the path to enlightenment. This podcast, two girls, one blunt. So smoke a little weed. Have a little fun. Listen to two girls, one blunt and evolve with us. Yeah. No mistake. Um. <laughs> I would go on beautiful. a retreat. Uh, this TikTok girl that I- I want to do a retreat. She, this TikTok girl came to Miami and I followed the girl that she did it with. It was like a three day thing with like healthy food and yoga and then Reiki and uh, like tarot cards and, and going under the moon and like all this fun shit. It sounds lovely. Yeah. I need more spiritual friends. We need, a, we need a group that we can go on, dance naked under the moon on the beach. Uh, yeah. I need a breast reduction because <laughs> those things that hit me in my face, knock me out. I take somebody just, out with me and all you bitches would just be on shrooms and nobody would help they're me. They're each their own little performer. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah. Qu she choreographs like both titties in the dance. One goes this way, one goes that way. And then she's they like the side to side, up and down and bring them all around. <laughs> like SpongeBob bringing it around town. Yeah. Yeah. That's a skill. Blessing and a curse. I know. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Would you rather live with a barnyard of animals in your house or live in a barn with animals? You live in the barn or they live with you? 
I'd live in a barn. I was always asked, did you did you grow up raised in a barn? Because I'd forget to do stuff, you know, and people would be like, oh, yeah, Lee, you sh- didn't shut the door. Oh, are you raised in a barn? What are you fucking raised in a fucking barn? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Because there's a lot like of home. fucking horse shit around here. There is a lot of horse <laughs> shit. Bullshit. <laughs> I would rather the animals live with me because it's like my life and then the animals are there. And I'm like, hey, friend. And I like wake up with a baby goat on me and in my bed, my tempur king bed. That's really cute. I just like imagine, though, cats shit sometimes in our kitchen sinks or throw up on the floor. But it would be a goat throw up and a cow shit <laughs> in the middle of your living room. Well, maybe they'd have sections in my house. Like I'd make the barn in the house. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Would you rather chew your toenails off or someone else's fingernails? Oh. I'm pretty sure I did chew my own toenails off as a kid. <laughs> Why? <laughs> people have told me this. <laughs> so, I've Wait, already been just there. like, I don't like these. Or like, you're like, these look tasty. I don't remember. Or I was like, like it's three. a chip. And my godfather, I think, has a picture of me like this, just like biting my own toenail off. Is that self-harm? Maybe. On the spectrum? (laughs) Maybe. I was like, I can't get tattoos yet, so I'm just going (laughs) to fucking rip into those big toes. Right? Maybe. I think maybe, okay, sorry, maybe somebody else's fingernails because Mm -hmm. I don't want to get hurt. But then I'm like, I don't want to hurt anyone, so I don't want to do that. Wait, we don't have to hurt anyone. We're just chewing them off. Like, you chew your nails. You don't hurt yourself. Uh, I thought I was picturing chewing the entire nail off. No, no. I think just, like, when you, like, anxiously pick at your nails, you know how I do that? Like my my own toenails because I'm clean. Yeah. And I get frequent pedicures weekly. Yeah. So. I just, the gel polish would not taste good. No, but then I would get addicted to, like, peeling it off, so then it would become a game. (laughs) And if you know, you know. <laughs> Life's a game. I'm, yeah. I'm just here to play it. Okay. Me too. I'll keep scrolling until you find one. Oh, would you rather get rich in a way that, that disappoints one? your family or just make enough money to live? Well, I'm already disappointed in my family, so that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck my come. family. <laughs> get rich and cut people out trying. No, I'm just kidding. I remember I sat down at dinner with like my aunt and uncle last year and I was like, so I'm starting an OnlyFans and, uh, you know, I'm a co-hosting a, a weed podcast with porn stars. And <laughs> my uncle was like, what's OnlyFans? And I was like, and my aunt had you to explain that. it to him over dinner. And she was like, it's a subscription platform and where they show like lingerie. And he was like, oh, I was going to follow you and your roommate on Instagram, but now I won't. Now that I know that you guys. <laughs> At least he has his priorities straight. He does. He doesn't you know, want to see my titties. Because some uncles or grandpas would be like, let me get that. What's the <laughs> username? Fuck. Right, dude? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's very so true. <laughs> would you rather have your friend or your boss fall in love with you? Boss. Um. My friend. Oh. Because, like, why wouldn't you want to... Well, I mean... (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) No, not your boss, because I have dealt with boss shit in corporate America, and your boss being into you in any capacity always gets the girl fucked over, so... Eh, eh. I was just thinking of the hot office sex, but yeah, (laughs) you're right. It's not worth the risk, you know? No. It's the same thing as like being exiled in a place that you have to like work at and be respected. Oh yeah. I didn't even do anything with my boss and people assumed I did. And Mm -hmm. then the rumors went around and then they were like, that's why you got sales. And it's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Like, Oh, okay. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? I'd rather know the cause of my death. I'm ready. I want to know how I go out. it was like a car crash and you're like, I'm going to avoid cars for the rest of my life. Yeah. But then like, I feel like me trying to avoid that would like fuck with fate. So I just got to go with it. You know, like Oedipus who tried not to fuck his own mom. Do you remember that? That should be pretty easy. And then he ended up fucking his mom. (laughs) No, Oedipus. (laughs) Oedipus had a mommy kink. Oedipus's dad got a prophecy that said he would one day kill his father and marry his mother so he like sent his son off to far lands and like disowned him 
one day this new like knight comes into town and fights Oedipus's dad and his dad dies. The newcomer marries Oedipus's mom. Turns out it's been Oedipus this whole time. And he just fucked his mom and killed his dad. You can't fuck with fate. It just, whatever's meant to happen will happen. Fate. Fate. Fate is cruel that, that's, and beautiful. <laughs> that's a dedicated man with a kink. Oh, yeah. That's, he was like, I'm coming for you, mommy. That's, oh. you know how like straight guys will be like, I'm not gay, right? <laughs> no homo, bro. No homo. Like, and you we just make out, but no like, homo. Yeah. We all like, you're kind of little, you're a little fruity. What about like guys who are like, ew, I don't talk to my mom. Like talk about my mom like that. People who's, or they're like, oh no, my mom's not hot. Why would you say anything like that? I'm like, you think so your mom's you, hot. You want to fuck your mom? Is <laughs> you that like what's that, happening baby? <laughs> Those are the guys that would like being called a little anal whore from mommy's little anal whore. Mommy's little butt slut. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Oh man. Why do so many sons want to fuck their moms i don't know i don't want to fuck my dad me either yeah i'm good or my mom if you had to fuck oh one, god though. if i had to like if someone was like what would be your absolute nightmare it would be getting fucked by my mother if you know my mother <laughs> my mother is tapped my mom <laughs> would use like to, to guys in high school who would like hit on me, she'd be like, don't fucking fuck with my daughter or I'll skull fuck you. Like that's the level of taps. Like fucking my mom. She'd be like, she was degrading you good. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. That would be, that would be the most traumatizing thing I've ever experienced Yeah, that would send life. me into a, a coma. Yeah, it'd be over. I'd just be like, nope, no, it's done. Kill me. Oh, Yeah. Would you rather get diarrhea on vacation or the day of a big presentation at work? Ah, vacation. For sure, vacation. Vacation. Because at least I'm shitting and there's a palm tree outside. Yeah, I'm okay. shitting in the sun. I'm not on stage shitting and people are like starting to smell it and I'm sweating profusely and I'm giving the speech and then it starts dripping down my skirt and then, you know, I get fired or something. Oh shit, we're shitting at the presentation too? Because I already get IBS and anxious poops dude, whenever I have something to do. You're, you're, picture this. You're literally presenting in front of a, a 20 plus people. I feel it's a scheduled. warm liquid you're gush talking, out of my hole. And it's literally bubbling. You're getting the fucking butthole cramps. And you're, it's goo- your stomach is speaking. It's, it's having a whole full bubble conversation. Guts. You have the bubble guts. Bubble guts. And you can't hold it. What do you do? Say, hey guys, got to take a shit. I'm going to interrupt this presentation. You know, you try to hold it. And what happens when you try to hold it? Something happens, you fart and it's done. It's game over. Damn. And I know because I shit my pants driving on the way to a comedy show. I try to hold it. You can't. I can't. You can't. You can't. Would you rather clean up toxic waste or be a mortician's assistant? Oh, no. (laughs) Well, I mean, I won't die being the mortician's assistant. Yeah. But like toxic waste, I just like slowly get cancer and the company like takes a life insurance policy on me and capitalizes. your pension. Yeah. It's okay. You won't live that long. No. Just go down, baby. Go down. Yeah. No, I'm a mortician's assistant. Hands down. Yeah, but like bodies freak me out, but I think I would just get numb to it. Like I, I do think everything I would be able else. to work alone. I'd have if to, somebody else is there, I'm just their assistant. I'm passing them As tools. long as somebody else is there and I'm not alone with the dead people. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, dude. That's my worst nightmare. They'd be talking to me and I'd be like, nah. One of them just sits up. Dude, no. rigid, opens its eyes and starts running. Every time I the g- end. go to sleep, I think before I wake my, like open my eyes that there's going to be like a person there or like a face. And my mom told me she had this dream when she was a little girl. It was like a reoccurring nightmare that she would wake up and there'd be a man's face like right over her face. And she would, every time she would wake up, like she'd fall, like she'd think in the dream (laughs) that she was waking up. It was like inception of like it constantly happening to her. And then she'd wake up and there'd be no one there. Do you remember that guy who like used that to like follow me? your family car and you would like look outside the window and see like a shadowy figure follow, follow you? Me? Mm-hmm. Did that happen to you? No, we had people like stalk us outside in a car. No, no, like a shadow figure. In a car? 
just like follow your car. It's like a phenomena I see all over the internet. Every like a lot of people have that similar thing there where they recognize that from childhood. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Probably maybe, honestly, probably there was a lot of things to happen that were scary. We are the Loch Ness Monster. We are the stoners. Mm -hmm. We are the stoners. No time for... <sighs> Why have I been breathing so heavily? Oh, dude, it's Sam. It's I'm Sam. Like... I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's these mics. They catch it more than our other mics did. Uh, uh, bye. Over and out.